Hello everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. <clears throat> so, um, to preface this, um, uh, today I went to a few um, thrift stores just looking around. Um, you know, I've never found um, coins at thrift stores, so I generally um, by no means am expecting to find any type of coin at thrift stores. Um, every once in a while I'll see um, sterling silver jewelry and things like that at thrift stores, but generally it's priced uh, way too high um, for me to actually care to buy it for that price. Um, um, but there have been occasions. Um, and the other thing that I have seen at thrift stores before um, is coin folders or albums, especially uh, the state quarter um, big uh, maps. Um, and generally, you know, those are, you know, a few dollars each and they're only, only that much new. So I'm not really caring to buy those ever. Um, and so I saw this album, um, in their display, um, in their, um, glass display that you have to get unlocked by an employee. Um, I saw that it said, uh, John F. Kennedy, uh, commemorative on it. And so I assumed that it was probably um, an album for the Kennedy half dollars. And so um, I decided I'd take a look at it. I hadn't seen an album that looked exactly like this before. Um, when they were pulling it out for me, one of the employees said that it had 11 coins in it. Um, and so it was really nice, um, but very in an incomplete set. And so I was thinking, okay, it's got 11 uh, Kennedy half dollars in it. Um, and... Hopefully, you know, maybe there's a silver one or two or maybe some 40% silver ones and depending on how expensive it is, maybe it'll be worth me uh, buying it. Um, and uh, when I uh, got it um, out to look at it, um, the first thing I noticed here is right here it says the Franklin Mint. Um, so the Franklin Mint makes all kinds of uh, metals mostly. Um, and they have in the past made proof sets for um, various countries. And I knew this wasn't any type of proof set, um, but what it is is there are um, 11 of these medals that um, commemorate um, different things in Kennedy's life. And so um, total, the, the album would fit uh, 36 of these, and it only has the first 11. So it's got six on the first page and five on the second page. Um, so um, when I was there the first time, I did pull one of the coins out and I didn't see anywhere on them that they were marked, um, if they were silver or not. And so I actually left the store and left them and had my phone out and was trying to find these on the internet. Um, and I have a very hard time finding um, Franklin Mint sets um, on eBay or different places just because they made so many different things, and I don't know, maybe there's just not so many of them. Um, but uh, one thing that I found, um, which is actually franklin-mint-silver.com, um, I feel like that's the best reference for Franklin Mint coins. Um, and they said um, that if a coin, or not a coin, a metal, minted by the Franklin Mint um, appears to be silver, it almost always is. And that if a coin uh, appears to be gold, then it's almost always silver um, plated with gold. And so um, I, I had to go back. So I went back. Um, and the other thing that I learned is that generally the Franklin Mint coins will not have reeded edges. They'll have plain edges. And that's where they'll put um, mint marks, information on... Um, the coins um, purity or and and uh, metal content um, so sure enough I went back to the store um, and I you know pulled the piece of plastic out so I could grab one of the coins and I looked at quite a few of them in the store um, the first time um, I looked at one of them before I the first time I was in the store um, but they're really I couldn't see anything and the only thing that's on here that's going to be very difficult to show you is that it says sterling in cursive. And 
and you might just have to believe me on that one. <laughs> but it does, on each of the coins, it says sterling um, in cursive on the, on the edge of it. So this is 11 coins, and they are sterling silver. They're made by the uh, Franklin Mint. Um, and I think today um, the silver price is about $18.82 or so. Um, I weighed a few of these when I got home. They weigh about an ounce. They're about, you know, they're not exact. Um, some of them are about nine or point nine nine ounces, point nine uh, eight five, point nine nine five. So they're just under an ounce, and they're sterling silver. So um, I figured with the eleven of them, um, and today's silver price is about two hundred dollars in silver. Um, and I think that there may be um, more value to these than their silver value. Um, like I was saying, I had a really hard time finding any of these on uh, the internet at all, but I did find um, one eBay, uh, buy it now for this uh, Cuban Missile Crisis one for $55. And I found one eBay listing for this uh, giant step into space um, metal for I believe $75 actually that one was not on eBay um, but let me go through um, and show you um, the design of these coins they have uh, quite a bit of toning well I wouldn't no, I wouldn't say they have quite a bit of toning but they do have some toning um, that you can kind of see around the edge on this one so this is uh, boyhood of a legend um, we have the inauguration uh, Cuban Missile Crisis, Visit to the Vatican, The Great TV Debates, Advisor and Brother, and on the second page we have again uh, Giant Step into Space, uh, Jacqueline uh, Bovier Kennedy, His Party's Choice, Culture in the White House. And the last one is Senator from Massachusetts. So, um, you know, it would have been really cool to have gotten all 36 coins to this set um, at a thrift store, but still, um, these coins um, being sterling silver, um, being in, in very good condition, you know, they're kind of a proof uh, finish to them. Um, and they still have uh, most of their um, original um, appeal to them, um, some toning on some of the coins. Um, they're all marked sterling. Um, and just in the, the silver value of the coins, I did very well um, for how much I paid for them. Um, and if they do have some value uh, above their silver value as a, as a collector, I don't know uh, much about um, collections of these um, Franklin Mint medals, but I know there are people out there that, that collect these. These are um, kind of a really fun way to have um, silver bullion. You know, that's kind of all they are to me. They're kind of silver uh, bullion coins, but they're uh, neat, unique designs. Um, interesting uh, metals um, and so I'm really happy that I found this uh, unbelievable this is something that I, I never find things like this uh, going to thrift stores I don't even try to find things like this at thrift stores I mean I I look in the display cases but I don't ever expect to see coins or anything like anything like that in um, the display cases um, but uh, very happy with these. Um, if anyone knows anything, you know, uh, more about these coins, um, not coins, I guess, metals, um, or if anyone has any comments, um, feel free to make those below. Um, and thank you for watching, and thank you for your support of my channel. Um, just one last thing here, let me show you. The, the back of these coins actually all have quotes on them, so that's kind of fun as well. I'm not going to go through and show you all the quotes um, to where you could read them all, but just to show you, kind of get an idea that they all have these quotes on the back. Um, but thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.